Hello, this is a quick video on how to make these Mechanum wheels that you can 3D print with one piece and a roller and they're gonna turn into wheels. I'm, I'm filming this on a tripod by myself, so like, it's gonna not be the greatest production value ever. Alright, we got, we got a workbench here where they got a hammer. We got some 18 gauge steel wire, got a little bit of 3 in 1 oil, some needle nose. We got our 3D printed bits here, got a whole sack of them in fact. We're gonna, we're gonna take our wheel here, it just came off the printer, we got support material up in the middle and a bit on the bottom here. We're gonna get that off, gonna grab needle nose, just gonna get out of there, no one, no one likes this crap, get out of there. Get the middle stuff out. It should come out pretty clean. If your supports don't come out clean, you're probably going to have a bad wheel, so get a better printer or print better. But this came out good. You can see there's a, a, a hole there and a slight slot into which our bent wire is going to go in a minute here. And then, of course, the roller goes across like that. So for time, I'm going to not rip out the rest of the supports, but imagine you do that. Rip, 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 rip. I'm going to grab the roller here. Uh, the hole in here is never going to be perfectly accurate coming off a 3D printer, so we're going to ream that out. I have a drill here with a 1 16th inch drill bit. We're just going to carefully start it on the hole here and keep a good grip. I'm going to pull it out. I want to make sure that no, no plastic stuff stays stuck in there. There we go. Get out of there. Weird stuff. Little niblets. Gonna flip it around and get the other side. You probably don't just want to blindly go all the way through it. That's gonna leave uh, uh, bits of chaff and chunk in there that, uh, that's gonna mess with your rolling. So you wanna make sure it's nice and clean. Clean as a whistle through there. There we go. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is just kiss this thing with a touch of oil going down the hole here. That'll help lubricate around your axle. So, just gonna tip this in, just like a little baby jump. Just a boop, 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 that's all you need. Um, that's gonna run through there. I'll give it a tap, a bit'll come out the bottom, that's okay. Um, now it's time to install the roller. I've got our 18 gauge steel wire here. This is just from a normal hardware store, it's cheap stuff. Key thing, you gotta get this wire as straight as you can. So don't put any kind of tight kinks on there. You don't wanna look at it. Look at it kind of side on, both dimensions, and do a test fit of your roller onto your wire. If it doesn't free spin like that, you're gonna have a bad time, so we make sure that's the case. If it doesn't free spin, it means there's a bend in your wire, or when you were reaming the thing out, you left some plastic chunk in there, so hit it with a drill a few more times in that case. I now take my roller, put it diagonally into the wheel, and I pass the wire through hole like that. And there we go. Give it a little wiggle that you left find the find the far hole there. You gotta believe in yourself. There you go. When it pokes out just a smidge, I'm gonna take the tip of the needle nose here, put a bend into it. What that bend is gonna do is it's gonna sit in the in the indent, the slot in there. So I bent that at about a 90 degree angle in there. I don't know why you can see that, but it looks like that. I'll slot that in there. And now that it's tucked into the indentation. I can, the other side I can cut just a kiss extra out of there. Just like, uh, let's say, that. Alright, you see that sticky outy bit there? Alright, now, if it's, if the current time is February 2020 and you're on the terabytes, Rebecca from your team just rang the doorbell to pick these up from me to give to you. If you're in the future, you can ignore this and there'll just be an awkward cut in the video. All right, welcome to the other, this is, I guess there'll be an edit here. So, welcome to the, welcome to an edit in the video. I'm a good video person. So, we've got our, you take, you, hey, here, you want to look in there and see if this is stupid? Now, okay. we've got our uh, roller in there. We have one, one bend in there, one bend to go. We've cut about that much extra sticking out. So I'm gonna take the needle nose here. Just put a bend in the direction of the slot it has to sit in. I'm gonna do it right flush against the base and kind of pull on the wire. That's okay, it'll it'll, it'll give. So now it's not sitting all the way. To make it sit all the way, 
uh, like with most problems in life, you hit it with a hammer. So I'm gonna seat this wheel so that the it is sitting on the butt of the wire. That's the key thing. I'm gonna take a little hammer and just give it a little tippy taps. You can be a little aggressive. Get in there. And so now that wire is seated on this side, seated on this side. We're rolling. Do this four more times, you got yourself a wheel. That's all.